Hi, welcome to XJW Broadcasting. Now, Andrea, I had a couple of questions to ask you. Why do we have a Watchtower Victims Memorial Day? What is for the XJW community? Well, the XJW community decided we needed a day to remember those who we've lost. It could be a loss because they refused a medical treatment that the Watchtower wouldn't let them accept. Like maybe it was blood, maybe it was when blood fractions were not allowed and they could have saved their life but they didn't take it. Maybe it was even when organ transplants were not allowed. It could also be that we lost them because they committed suicide because they were being shunned and they couldn't take it anymore. And we know that that's been the case for many people. Or maybe because they were abused or even if they didn't take their life, the kind of loss that it gave them, the loss of their childhood if they were abused as children. And then there's another kind of loss, and that's one that we experience. Our loved ones haven't died, but they shun us, and they treat us like we are dead. And um, why is today, a lot of people might wonder, why is today a special day, the 26th, for ex-Jehovah's Witnesses? Well, why did we choose today? We chose today because in 1931, that's when Jehovah's Witnesses took their name and they changed their name from being the International Bible Students. So we thought it would be a fitting day to remember our victims and the ones we've lost on that day, July 26th. In what ways, Andrea, can we observe this day? Well, you know, a lot of people, it's such a personal thing and there's lots of different ways to observe. I know some, maybe they will take flowers and they'll visit their family's grave that they've lost. Or maybe if their family's shunning them, they'll go leave flowers at the Kingdom Hall. And a note maybe, I know I have some friends, my friend Tristan, he was gonna go do that. And then thankfully, we have some good news with this segment, you know, it's all kind of dreary, but we have some good news. His mom, Teresa, woke up and she was able to wake up in time to share this day with him and they put flowers at the Kingdom Hall. So that's one way. Yeah. And so there's many ways that we can do that. But I know me and you right now, we decided that we wanted to take a moment of silence. And then we invite you who are watching at home to please take a moment of silence with us and think of any that you know who were hurt or harmed by the Watchtower and its policies. So I'm gonna start and we'll take a moment of silence now. And you know, we want to finish out that moment of silence and just continue to hope for our ones that are there, that are still trapped and brainwashed in the watchtower, that they will get out and that everything will be okay and we can have them reunited and have a um, just a reconciliation with our families. And you know, it's easy, I think, to get upset if our families, you know, they can be under the control and brainwashing of the watchtower they can say some mean and hurtful things i know i've been fortunate you know i haven't had close close family my fam my sister not not miranda obviously <laughs> but my other sister alicia you know she just quit talking to me completely and i didn't really hear hurtful hurtful mean words from her but i know some have i've read people's experiences that are so hurtful but i just hope that everyone can just remember that they're victims. We were all there. We were victims. And what helps me to remember that is when I think of how much I've changed in ways that I could have hurt others because I was a victim of Watchtower and brainwashed. 
And I would just like to take a minute, because I was just thinking about this, how self-righteous I could have been in the past. I know I went to um, business school and like it was a Votech and so when I was in my, my high school years and so it wasn't people that I knew every day or that I would have been in the congregation with but because several cities from different surrounding areas went to this Votech and there was a boy and his name is Damien and I didn't know he was a witness at first but then I w he would overhear me talking and say oh that person you know I know her or I know him or I know them and I was like, how, how? And he's, I just do, I just do. And so I asked them and they said, oh, he's a witness. And this shocked me. This shocked the good little JW girl that I was because I had saw him signing the teacher's birthday card, signing up for the Halloween holiday things and the, all the whatever. And I'm ashamed to say that I called his elders and I told on him. And I want to say I'm sorry. And to my friend Fasyahega, Fasyahega, she, same thing, you know, it was Christmas time and I saw her signing up for the Secret Santa and the boy that she had a crush on in our class, that's whose name she picked. And I told her, you know, you can say that you were feeling pressured, you don't have to do it. And she said she was still going to do it, so I went and told on her. I, and it makes me feel so bad now. And here's one of the harder ones, too, more than just holidays. I went to the bowling alley to meet some friends and was I shocked when I got there that there was a disfellowship boy at the bowling alley with all the kids from the hall. And I want to say I'm sorry to Dusty. I already apologized to you on Facebook and a message and you told me that you accepted my apology and I appreciate it, but I want to say I'm sorry again. And if any of these others see this, I want to say I'm sorry to you too. And that's Cody and Jean and Jessica, Chris and Rebecca, my own cousin, Felicia, and also the person who was disfellowshipped. Brent. Nobody should have to get all their family and friends cut off from them. And then my own best friend, when she got disfellowshipped, Ashley, we've already talked since then, but I want to make it for the record that I am sorry. And to all my family that I shunned if you got disfellowshipped. I know my cousin, I don't know if you want me to say your name, but I'm sorry. So I just wanted to say that. So I just, it makes me think I can't be too angry because I did it too. And if somebody as self-righteous, I know you think I sounded pretty self-righteous. You did. <laughs> and so I'm so glad I can be free and not judge and just show love to everybody. And so if somebody like me, if I can change, then don't lose hope for your family. They can change and they can wake up too. And we'd like to close out this broadcast with a song by Miranda. And she wrote this song because of being hurt because of being shunned and um, so we'll like to listen and would you like to introduce the song? <clears throat> yes, this is the song that I wrote about uh, my best friend that shunned me and about my sister that shuns me and uh, it really gave me a lot of therapy and helped me a lot when I was depressed. And the song's called? Oh yeah, <laughs> and the song is called Fade Away. Thanks for not calling while I had the flu After all, I always checked up on you I see your new friends, it's not like I exist I faded away and I'm not even missed What you do to me, you'll do to them Just like me and your last friend Her name started with J
you're not brave enough to say Like how when our friends, that's why you don't listen To my text, and my calls, and my bruises and falls So keep putting yourself high and your friends to shame I think to goodbye leave us to blame as long as you're painted clean in that picture frame push us in the dirt don't matter if we get hurt so go ahead and think you better we were best friends but not forever i loved you like a sister but i meant nothing to you but my sister desired beautiful and so Thank it's you. a great way to end our day and you know today even even if all you do is just remember the good times that you had with your family and remember all the love and the happiness that was there we invite you to do that and just remember them and we will send our love and our thoughts and happy energy out to you that one day you will be reunited with them again yes we love you all and thanks for watching thank you